Our Earth is about 4.5 billion years old, and its history is divided into four major eons, massive chapters in the planet's timeline. Each one marks a huge shift in Earth's environment, geology, and life itself. From molten chaos to complex life, Welcome to the tale of our planet like you've never heard it before. The Earth's history is divided into four eons, the Hadean, Archean, Proterozoic, and Phanerozoic. These eons represent the broadest divisions of geologic time, spanning billions of years. Let's start with the Hadean Eon, the very first eon, which began about 4.5 billion years ago with the formation of Earth. It was a period of intense volcanic activity, asteroid impacts, and a molten surface. During this period, the Earth was extremely hot. No continents, no oceans, just a molten planet bombarded by asteroids. Temperatures were insanely high, and the atmosphere was toxic made of gases like methane and ammonia. A particularly notable event that is believed to have occurred in this eon is when a Mars-sized protoplanet named Theia slammed into Earth, creating our moon and producing the tilt in Earth's rotational axis in the process. The name of this eon, Hayden, is derived from Hades, the name of the Greek god of the underworld, a fitting comparison to the hellish landscape on Earth during the Hayden eon. The next geologic eon, the Archean, began about four billion years ago. During this period, heavy asteroid bombardment tapered off and things started to cool down. The cooling of the Earth's crust allowed for the formation of the first oceans and continents. Scientists are not exactly sure what these continents looked like since there is so little evidence from the period. However, some believe that some of the earliest land masses on Earth were the supercontinents known as Ur and Valbarara. The most exciting part of this eon is the beginning of life. Not plants or animals yet, but simple single-celled organisms like bacteria and archaea. Some of these, called cyanobacteria, developed the ability to do something revolutionary, photosynthesis. That means they could use sunlight to produce energy, and they released oxygen as a byproduct. That oxygen didn't stay in the atmosphere right away. It reacted with iron and other elements in the oceans first, but it was building up slowly. The Proterozoic Eon began about 2.5 billion years ago and ended about 541 million years ago when the first complex life forms appeared. This eon saw some of the biggest changes in Earth's history. First, oxygen from those tiny cyanobacteria finally started accumulating in the atmosphere that led to what's called the Great Oxygenation Event around 2.4 billion years ago. Sounds good, right? Well, it was a disaster for many early life forms that couldn't survive in oxygen. It caused a mass extinction, but also opened the door to more complex life. During this eon, we also see the rise of eukaryotic cells, cells with a nucleus. Without them, multicellular life, like plants, fungi, and animals, wouldn't be possible. And finally, we arrive at the Phanerozoic Eon, the one we're still living in today. This eon began about 541 million years ago, and it is very distinct from the previous three, the Hadean, Archean, and Proterozoic, which are sometimes known as the Precambrian era. It started with the Cambrian explosion, when a wide variety of animals suddenly burst onto the evolutionary scene, Phanerozoic means visible life, and it truly delivers. After the Cambrian explosion, Earth went through some wild times. Fish, insects, and forests took over. Dinosaurs dominated, then went extinct. Mammals rose and evolved, and eventually, here we are. The Phanerozoic Eon is divided into three eras, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic, each with its own incredible stories from mass extinctions to major climate shifts. The Hadeans fire, the Archean's first spark of life. 
the Proterozoic's breath of change and the Phanerozoic's burst of beauty, we live in the final page, so far, of a story 4.5 billion years in the making. A story still being written. A story of our beloved Earth.